הקדוש ברוך הוא כתוב מצחית דיממות דף צדיק זין עמוד א' 97A1 If you remember, we just finished yesterday by mentioning what was the importance, why was Rabbi Yochanan so makbid that he wanted that they should say something in his name. And the reason why he was so stringent that they should say something in his name was, is because he says, we say, which means that a person's lips are moving in the grave, and therefore he wanted that he should actually, they should be saying things in his name even after 120. Okay, now we're by the two dots. So we're in the two dots on Tzadik Zayin Abud Aleph, where it says that a person is going to be nine years old in one day. Okay? So it says over here like this. We said that it's the same alakot as a nine-year-old in one day, or until a 20-year-old, and he didn't bring two pubic hairs. So it says that you might mean we have a contradiction. When a person is 20 years old and he doesn't have two pubic hairs, Yeah? He says, I bring a proof that he's 20, who was Saris. And he becomes a person that's called a Saris. A Saris is somebody that's sterile. He doesn't do Saritza or Yibu. So that when a person brings that he's a proof that he's a 20 year old, so he's considered a Saris. He's sterile. He can't have children. So he doesn't do Saritza and he doesn't do Yibu. But the Simshana Shalom Yeshte said, we have a 20 year old girl. That she did not bring two pubic hairs. Bring a proof that she's a 20-year-old. And then she becomes an Eilonite. She doesn't do Khalid Tzaribu. So therefore, from this Mishnah, it's mashma that a 20-year-old that did not bring two pubic hairs is considered a Gadol. Now, this Mishnah is saying that he's got a deed of Sadis. So we don't say that he's still a Katan until we wait until two pubic hairs. So this is a Stilat or a Mishnah. <coughs> so it says the Gimana, Hayit Maralai, was stated, no, he's already got the, the, the he's already got the signs of a Saris. Yeah, so since he's got the signs of a Saris, then he's going to be considered like a Gadol. But our Mishnah is talking about that he doesn't have any signs of a Saris. So in such a case, he's considered a Katan, even though he already became 20 years old and he doesn't have two big cares until he brings a proof. So Amar Rav Rav says that can be Italian. That's why we can also deduce it from the Mishnah in itself. But the Mishnah says, "Vehu Asaris Mashma." Obviously, we're talking about that he's got Simanes Saris. But if he does not have a Simanim, that he's not any signs that he's a Saris, he's considered like a Katan, even though, right? He's because of the age. Obviously, I would say that you know he's got much older. Shema Minah. That's how we actually learn. So says the Gemara, "The Chilon Udo Simanes Saris Akama." Okay, let's say he has no Simanim that he's sterile. Until what age do we consider him now a Katan and not a Saris? So it says, Gimana, Tanya, the Rosh Nota, the majority of his life. Yeah? No, it's the like, year it says it's going to be 36. Right? A life by Nehemiah Shinot and Ovahim Shibin Shana, 70 years old. So 36, that's the majority of the life. Yeah? So, Kiatu Lekame, the Rava, when they came in front of Rava, some people did double that, yeah? So he says, Katu the de Rabba, that when they came in front of Rabba, they said, I kahush, if the body is very, very skinny, right? So then that's also going to be, right, such a case where we would look at the body, and it's very skinny. Amalu, he says, Zilu abriu, so go and eat, right? The body, he's already body, Amalu, they would tell him, Zilu go, go lose some weight, right? The honey is simanim, because these are simanim. Sometimes the simanim will go away because a person is lacking weight, and sometimes the simanim will go away because the person has excess weight, right? So therefore, you see from here that sometimes the entire concept of, you know, whether it's even going to be puberty and everything, weight, whether it's plus or minus, that can have an effect on even the puberty and everything else, or something incredible. And even until today, even until today, they know that in science. Correct, doctor? Fantastic. Yeah. They exactly the way that's the way it is. You might have seen today. Yeah. Adran Allah Haisha Rabba. We're continuing now with the new chapter. Perek Hashavasan, the 11th chapter, the Mishnah. No se'in ala nusav ala mefuta. After a person came and he violated or seduced the woman, He's still permitted to come and get married to the family members. For example, the daughter, the sister, the mother. But the Torah only prohibited the family members of his wife, but not the family members of somebody that he violated or 
that he seduced. Right? If somebody is going to come and be honest, right? His wife's family members, meaning a person came and he violated his wife's sister, wife's mother, wife's daughter, or they just seduced them. Chayav is going to be a chayav because of the Isur of Arayot. Nosei Adam Anusat Avim Futat Aviv, a person who has to get married to the, to the woman that his father seduced or violated. Bechen Anusat Benon Futat Aviv, or that his son violated or seduced. He's not to get married to that woman. The Yudah Oseh, the Yudah prohibits Anusat Avim Futat Aviv, the father's uh, seduced or violated woman. Okay, let's see the Gimara now. Right, we've already learned this in the past a few different times. Let's see the Gimara. Tanina lahad the Tanu Rabana, and we learned that which do we learned in our Mishnah. Anas Isha, if a person came and he violated a woman, Mutali Sabita is allowed to get married to the daughter. Nasa Isha, if he got married to a woman, Asuli Sabita is not allowed to get married to the daughter. Well, Minu, we have a contradiction. Hanitani la Isha, if somebody is going to be suspected that he had relations with a certain woman, Asur be Maul be Dovachla, he's not allowed to have relations not with the mother, the daughter, or the sister. So now the question is, one second, the Bono Shalom here. There's only a suspicion that he had, that he's having relations with this woman. Now, because of that suspicion, he's prohibited in the three close family members, mother, daughter, and sister. Now, you're going to tell me that if he actually violated her or seduced her, it's going to be permitted? What's going on? So, answers the Gemara. Ah, no, this last right, there's only the Rabbanan. Mido right, there's no problem whatsoever. It's only the Rabbanan, right, that it's going to be prohibited. But really, it's, it's going to be permitted, Mido right. So he says, one second, if there's only an Isur the Rabbanan, do we learn Mamash Nusim? Because if you just told me right now, Nusim, Nusim is Mashma Lechatkila, that he's allowed to get married to. By Nusim is to get married, right? Nisuin. So are you going to tell me now that it's only an Isur the Rabbanan, you're allowed to get married to Lechatkila? So I answer the Gemara, no. Kitzanan Matsnitin, when was our Mishnah stated? Le'achar Mita, after the woman that he violated or seduced died. If he seduces the woman or violates the woman and then she dies, then he's allowed the chatzila to get married, whether it's going to be in all the family members, right? But if she's still alive, so then no, that's with Rabbanan. He's not, she's not, he's not allowed. How do we know these words? The Tan Rabbanan was learned to the right of the Kulan, Neymar Shriva, by all the other Arayot, it's always Rabbanan the Shaha, Shriva, to lie down. The Kam, to do with the wife's family members, Neymar Kicha, it's written Kicha, Kicha is like Nisuin. That only if it's going to be a, a nisuin, a kiddushin, that's when the Torah prohibited the Krovat Ishto, which means when the first one is only going to be a kiddushin, then the Krovim are going to be prohibited onto him and he's going to be chayav. Taking means marriage. Lying down just means lying down. Relations. Okay? So, Amalera, Papa Labayir, Papa Kamsin, Gazabayir, El Amiata, we're going to ask a question. Right? What did you just say? You just told me you made a differentiation between kicha and shriva. Shriva means relations. Kicha means marriage. He says, is that always a foolproof sentence? Right? Is that like something foolproof? Why? Because by the sister, it's written that a person that takes his sister. There's no reason that lies down with the sister. So take the sister. So he says, what? It's only permitted to get married to your sister? And you're allowed to lie down with your sister? You're allowed to have relations with your sister? What's going on? Obviously, that can't be, that can't be permitted, right? So it says the Gimana Amalei, he says, no. Likuchin ketive Torah stam. Whenever we're talking about Likuchin, the Likuchin in the Torah is only stam. Whoever is fitting for Likicha is Kicha. Whoever is fitting for Shiva is Shiva. What does that mean? By the sister, you're never allowed to get married to the sister. So even though it's written in the kicha, which means kiddushin, it means lying down with her. Whenever it's another woman, it's always written. If it's written, it depends what it is. If she's fitting to get married, so therefore, if it's written in kicha and not shriva, it means malash marriage. If it's written shriva, right? So therefore, it's literally lying down. So it all depends on terminology, but only if they're actually permitted and they can get married to this guy. Okay. Rabba, Rabba comes and he's going to bring another source mm-hmm. from the Mishnah. He says if a person violates a woman, he's allowed to get married to the daughter. How do we know that? From here, it says, A person is not allowed to reveal, right, the nakedness of his granddaughter or the granddaughter. Again, one is the daughter of the son and one is the daughter of the daughter. Right? He's not allowed to reveal. Habat 
benadida, right? But if we're talking about bat bena, we're talking about the granddaughter, right? The daughter of the son from his wife, or bat bitadida, or the granddaughter, the son of the daughter, uh, sorry, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter of the daughter, the daughter of the son, right? From the wife, gale, he's allowed to. Do you remember that was shniot lanayot? You remember when we learned shniot lanayot, secondary relations? So these are the secondary relations. Gale, you're allowed to. But it's written, there it's written, which means you don't have to reveal. And then it says, you're not allowed to take. So what's going on over there? What's the case there? Right? How do you answer these two psukim? So he says, he says, no, the case is that you don't have to reveal. So what's the case there? Right? So he says, can the onasin come in his suit? He says, no. To do with onasin that a person violated a woman. So then the Torah is coming and teaching us that he's not allowed to take, right? The bat beno babito, right? But, right, why? Because that's his own granddaughter. However, though, Nechtat Anusato, right, which is not his Nechtat, which means the granddaughter of the woman that he violates, which is not his granddaughter, it's from somebody else, is not prohibited. But here we're talking about marriage. Once a person comes and gets married, right, so therefore, whether it comes from him or comes from somebody else, now they're prohibited because marriage is different than violating. The violating does not prohibit the grandchildren to him, right, unless they're his own grandchildren, obviously, but the, the, the marriage does. So says the Gemara, what do we say about this? So says the Gemara, no, by Arayot, which means that why don't we prohibit Anusa, which means violation and not marriage, right? So he says, Arayot, She'er, by a moral relation, it's written, She'er, She'er is Nisu'in, Ika V'She'er. She'er means a family member, a close of kin, right? But that's through, through marriage. So he says it's only by Nisu'in, by Nisu'in, there's no She'er, there's no right family member through that. Okay? Next. Rabbi Yudah Omer about Anusat Aviv. Rabbi Yudah, there was a machloket. What about Anusat Aviv? Can a person get married to the woman that his father violated or the woman that the fire father seduced? Yeah. So there was machloket. Chachamim said yes. And Rabbi Yudah said no. Tanakama said yes. Rabbi Yudah said no. Says the Gimara, I'm Rabbi Yudah, 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 that a person not allowed to get married to Anusat Aviv and Kutat Aviv. Remember, Anusat Aviv means the one that the father seduced or violated. How do you know that you're not allowed to get married to them? Tichtiv is said in the Pasuk in Devarim. Lo yikach ish et esh et aviv ve lo yigale kenaf aviv. A person is not allowed to take the wife, the father's wife, or to reveal the father's wing. Kenaf shed a'a aviv, the wing that the father, that saw the father, meaning the woman that saw the father without clothing, lo yigale, he's not allowed to reveal it. Umimai v'gam usakim, how do we know that there we're talking about the person that the father violated? This is from the Pasuk in itself. It says over there, it's written over there, right? We're talking about um, uh, Pasuk before, right? Or Pasuk before, whatever, it's right before, because the, the previous Pasuk was the Varim Kabdimen, chapter 23, 1. This is chapter 22, 29. Okay? So here it's talking about over there, an honest. What is honest? A person that violates. A person that comes and violates a woman. If a person comes and violates a woman, so he has to give to the father of the girl, Hamishim Kes. Okay, so the fact that it's talking about over there, Anusa, honest. So therefore, the Pasuk beforehand it's talking about is also talking about honest as well. So the Rabbanan, according to the Rabbis, if it was written right beside it, the Kamata, you're right. But here, it's not written mamash samufle, right? Ashta de los samufle. Now that it's not mamash samuf, meaning it is after a few psukim, but it's not mamash one after another. So mi baile lech de ravana nu mimin for ravanan. The amar ravanan nu shmuel b'shomeret yavam shalavim. Talking about there, shomeret, right? Yavam, yeah, shomeret yavam. Okay. So omai knaf avi. What does it mean knaf avi? Knaf raui ya. A knaf which is fitting for the father lo yigale. Do not reveal. Okay? So says the Gimana, this is one second. Why don't we come and say that it's because of Dodato? What is Dodato? Right? We come and we say Dodato means because of, right, the, the ant, which should be prohibited, which means, right, that's what we're trying to find out. Shomenet Yavam, what's a Shomenet Yavam? Meaning the father has a, yav- a Yavama that's waiting for him. What does that mean? That's his ant. He's not allowed to be to his ant. So why do you need now befell the father or something to the father? That's his aunt. He's not allowed to be with his aunt. So answers the Gemara, no, to prohibit him with two different loves, two different prohibitions. 
Okay? So ask the Gemara, take the blame, Yishum Yivama la Shuk. Fine. But then you have the negative commandment anyway, that she's a Yivama, that she's to be married to the Shuk. How could it be that he's now going to go with this woman? So says the Gemara, you're right. There's really three prohibitions. Prohibition, the father's wife, or the father's whatever it is, right? The father's Shomeriki Abam. You have, number two, the aunt. And number three, right, you have also Yivama la Shuk. Okay? The Baitema, if you want, you can answer, Le'achar Nita, we're talking about after the death of the father, right, and therefore there's no anymore Yisud of Yivamal Ashuk, right, because and therefore it's only just going to be Lo'igel and Kenaf Aviv, only for the Zayin Yubay, 97B, okay, so now it's the Gimara. Okay, we are going to bring certain Chidot, right, which the first one is connected to what we just mentioned, to do Chida is like an enigma, right, it's like a riddle. So certain ones are connected to that which we said beforehand, right? And uh, he comes and he says, certain ones, right, are connected, right, to the one we mentioned beforehand, right? And uh, which is that Nusatabi. And now it says like this, a woman that comes and says, Ah me'av velo me'em vehu ba'la de'em v'ana berata de'intete. Look at this enigma, one more time. A woman comes, imagine a woman comes to you and she tells you, my brother is only a brother from the father, but not from the mother. He is the, the husband of my mother. And I'm the daughter of the wife. How does it work? Do you understand the case? One more time. My brother is it's only a half brother. It's only a brother from the father, right? But not from the mother. Now, this brother is the husband of my mother, okay, the husband of my mother, okay, and I am the daughter, right, of the wife. How does it work? Yeah, so says the Gemara, one second, says the Gemara, Obviously, we're not talking about the like Yehuda of our Mishnah. So he says what happened was Yaakov, right, violated a woman and he had a daughter. One more time, Yaakov, yeah? Yaakov violates a woman, he has a daughter. Reuven, that's the son of Yaakov from another, right, from another wife, gets married, right, to this girl. Uh, no, no, not this girl, to the, not to the daughter, sorry, the, the girl to the mother, right? To the, to the one that Yaakov violated. One more time, Yaakov violated Leah. Yeah, everyone pay attention. Yaakov... Recording in progress. Kakadosh. Again, we are going to explain the case. Right? So that way they actually understand what's going on. It says over here like this. Yaakov comes and he violates a woman, a Isha. Her name is Isha. Woman. That's all you need to know. And she has a daughter. Okay? Reuven, which is the son of Yaakov Avinu from another marriage, from here, from Leah, Rachel, whoever you want exactly. Right? What happens is, is that Reuven gets married to this woman. Okay, so now what happens is, is that Reuven and this woman, what are they? They are brothers from the father, not from the mother, correct? They're brothers from the father, but not from the mother, right? However, though, this brother, which is from the father and not from the mother, is married to his, to her mother, right? One more time. First, let's read it, and you could ask. Bata Anusa, the woman says, right? Omeret al Reuven, Achihu me'av. So this girl, this fat, she's saying, my brother is a brother from the father, right? But not from the mother, okay? And he is the husband of my mother, and I am the daughter, right, of my mother. Vani bat ishto. So I am the daughter of his wife. I am the daughter of his wife. This is the case. This, so this is the first enigma. Capish? Now you want to... One second. Let me ask you a pause. Recording in progress. Next case. Ahu. Right? A woman comes and it says, My brother. Ubrihu. And he's also my son. So he's my brother and he's my son. Ahate ana darina katfai. And I am the sister of this little child. Right? Which I'm putting on top of my of my of my shoulder so, ah, so let's see 
So answer the Gemara, Mashkach Allah be'ovet tochrim aval bito. We're talking about a goy that has relations with his daughter. So one more time here, look over here in the footnote over here. You can see it here, right? Le'esav, Esav has a daughter, Machalat. Okay, Esav, here. Esav has a daughter, Machalat. Esav has relations with his daughter. Okay, and they have a child. So now one more time. So Esav has his daughter. And now Esav has relations with his daughter and they have a child, a boy. Okay, so now the Bat Machalat is carrying the son on her shoulders. So she says, this is my son and this is my brother from the father. And my son, right? He says, I am the sister, right? I am a sister also because I'm the sister of the one that I'm actually carrying. So, Machalat is the mother and the sister of this child. Correct or not? Everyone understood? Very good. Next case. Yeah. A woman comes and she says, Shalom, my son. I am the daughter of your sister. Again, Shalom, my, my son. But I am the daughter of your sister. How does this work? So it says, A goy that has relation with his granddaughter. Yeah, one more time. Esav, look on the screen. You have it over here. Esav, right? He gets married to Hagar. Right? He gets married to Hagar and they have Basimat. Okay, so Basimat is the daughter of Hagar. Esav has relation with Basimat, with the granddaughter. And they have a boy. So Basimat tells her son, Shalom lecha, my son. Bat achatechan. I am the daughter, right, of your sister. No, bat hagar achatechan. I am the daughter of, of Hagar, right? No, one more time. One more time. One more time. So one more time. One more time. Yeah? yeah? One more time. Esav has Hagar. Hagar has Basimat. Hagar is the daughter of Esav. Okay? So now, Basimat is the granddaughter of Esav. Basimat has the boy because Esav has relation with Basimat. So now it comes out that Basimat tells her own son, Shalom lecha my son. But you should know though, right, that I am the daughter of Hagar, your sister. Why? Hagar is the sister of the son, not the sister of, of Basimat. She's the mother of Basimat, but she's the sister. This son, this boy, this man goes up here. Because remember, this boy is the son of Esav. And this boy and Hagar is the son of Esav. Exactly. You understand? Is the, these two people are brothers, right? From the father. Brother and sister from the father. How, yeah, that's what I said, from the father. Yeah. So therefore, Basimat is telling her own child, listen, you're my son, but you should know I am the daughter of your sister. Okay? Next case. <laughs> Next case. Okay? Dalae de Dalu Dabu. Right? These are people that are, these are children of Koalim, that they're they're giving the, the field to drink with the Dalim, with the Dali, at least the bucket of water. Lipol Bechut Seter Pete. He comes and he says, I'm going to be my pellet to Moser I'm going to give you guys an incredible chidan, uh, enigma, that you have to come and you have to decipher. This tinok that I'm carrying is my son, and I am the, the daughter of the brother. How do you find that? Again, a boy that's having a relation with. But they know the granddaughter from his son, meaning his son's daughter. So the exact same case, but through the son. So one more time, Esav, right? It's not here. Esav has Basimat, right? Remember, Esav has Basimat from Eliphaz, but Eliphaz Beno. Okay, so Eliphaz, Esav is a boy. That's why the boys are in the diamonds. Uh, not in the, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, in the, uh, it's hexagon. Yeah, so this is the six, and the Bastemat is the, the diamonds. The girls are in diamonds, and the boys are in the hexagon. So it says one more time. Esav is a son, Elifaz. Elifaz is the daughter, Bastemat. Esav, 
So Esav Tuba Semach is a granddaughter. But this time the granddaughter was from the son, not from the daughter. The previous case was from the daughter. Daughter, daughter. Right? And then you have the son. Here now it's from the son. So one more time. Esav has Elifaz. Elifaz has Basemat. Esav has relation with Basemat. He has a boy. So this boy, Basemat, tells the son, you are my son. I'm carrying you on my shoulder. But you are my son. Not only are you my son, though. He comes and he says, I am the daughter, right, of Batachim, of the brother. So that means I'm the daughter of the brother. Right? Which that's what it says. I'm the daughter of the brother. Papish. Next one. Okay. Bia bia me'ah vehu ab, right? I am I'm arguing. I am like a, I'm I'm complaining, right? On my brother that it's my father. Vehu bal and he's my husband. Vehu bar bal and he's also the son of my husband. Vehu bala deim and he's the husband of my mother. Vana brata di tete and I'm the daughter of the wife. Velo ya ipita la hua yatme bene brate and I and he's not giving bread, right? To my brother, the Yitomim, which they are the family members, even though he's got so much of a connection to me. Oof. Let's look at this case. So answers the Gemara. What is this case? Yeah. So it says here, Mashkaf Allah. This is found in the case of an Avet Kochavim. Haba Alimo. Avet Kochavim has relation with his own mother. So that's what you have here. This is the Avet Kochavim, the Nochi, the boy. He has relations with his own mother. Okay, Basimat. Okay, Alimo. Volim Imenabat. He has a daughter. Hagar. Okay? So that means this daughter is also his sister from the mother and, okay, and also his daughter. So one more time. Hagar is a sister from the mother and also his own daughter. The Then the Goy, this same guy, has relations now with his own daughter. With his, his own sister as well. Okay? The Chazar Zaken. Then the father, right, of this Goy, Remember, this is the father, this is the mother. Av Zaken and Basimat. They have a child. The child has relations with his mother. He has a daughter. The child has relations with Hagar, which is his daughter okay. and his half-sister. Okay? Okay? Now, this Zaken, this elder person, has relations with his granddaughter, Hagar, and has children from her. Ben Ben has two children from her. So it comes out that this Ovet Kochavim Adishon, this one, is the father Right? Of Hagar. Right? He's also Baal here. It doesn't mean Baal the husband. It means he had relations. Baal Ima. He had relations with, with, his, with her mother. Vechen With the brother. Right? Uh, sorry. It's also the brother. It's also Vechen It's also the brother. Ubaala ben Bala Hasheni. And it's also the husband of, of the Zaken. Right? And it's also going to be the brother from the father. Right? To the children. Right, because remember, it comes out that th that these boys, right, are brothers to Hagar as well. Correct? Yeah. So he says over here, Ushemet Aviv. Now, when the father dies, Nitiatmu Achim Achivel Shem Gam Bene Bito. So now that they're, they're also, so that means when he dies, you also have Ben Bito, meaning this boy now. When this Abzakim dies, right? These are the, the children of his daughter. They're his grandchildren. And they're his brothers. One more time. Abzakim, this is the grandfather. He has a child. When he had a relation with Hagar, which is the granddaughter, he had two children. So now it comes out for this boy. These two children are his grandchildren, plus they're his brothers from the father. Correct? Now Hagar, you have to remember, was his daughter and sister also. So they're also children of his sister also. So they're his nephews as well. You understand? And look at, you understood that? <laughs> look, look at all the cases here. So one more time. Let's see over here on the bottom. Right? One more time. The Goy has a mother, Basimat, and a father. The Goy has relations with the mother. He has a God. Right? The Goy has relations with his daughter, a God. And also the grandfather has relations with Hagar, right? The granddaughter. And they have two children. Hagar comes and tells the Goy, which is her father and her brother, right? From the mother. Bia Bia Mea, right? Which is again from the brother. Right? These two children, right? Which are children of Basimat, right? They're both children of Basimat. He's also my father. 
because he's my father. So that means the Nochri is not only my brother, he's also my father. And also, Hubaan, he had relations, right? Why? Because he had relations with her himself, right? That means he had relations with a guy with his own daughter as well. He's also the son of the one that had relations. Why? Because this Ben, right, Shabbalai, right, also the Zakem had relations with her as well. He's also the he also had a relation with her mother, right? Because since he had a relation with Basimat, that's her mother. And I am the daughter of his wife, right? I am the daughter of the wife. What he's not going to give bread to the brothers, which are Yetomim, right? The sons of his daughter. Because these two boys of a god. They were from, I mean, they're, they're brothers of, of, they're his brothers. And they're also his grandchildren. The daughter of his own. He's not, so look, this, and he's not going to give bread to them. So, so he's, she's complaining to the father. I don't know, he's not giving, so he, but she's complaining. But she's complaining to the brother, to the father, to the grand, to, look how many, to the brothers, look how many relationships there are over here. Okay, next case. Yeah. Um, Anna be'at ache. I am, and you, we are brothers. I am your father of brothers. And I am your sister, and your mother, our, our sister. How does it work out? How could it be that we ourselves were brothers and sisters, right? That we ourselves, me and my, and your father are brothers, and me and your mother are brothers. How does that work out? So it says, you have the case. A goy has relations with the mother, right? And he has, again, Nochri. He has relations with his mother, Basimat. And he has, right, Ubala, and then he has two daughters. So twins came out from that relationship. But Alec and Bat Bet. What happens? He has relations with one of them. So Bat Bet, he has relations now with one of his daughters as well. He has a child. So therefore, right, she's going to call this child. Right, the achotimo, right, because it's a, a son. So he says, So she's saying, right, like this. So I have one more time. What is she saying? Right, everyone understood the case. One more time. The goy has a relation with his mother, he has two daughters. The goy has a relation with one of the daughters, and he has a child. Okay, so now, batechat, right, one of the bat aleph, this girl, this bat aleph, she comes and now she is the, right, batechat, she achotimo. She is the sister of the mother. So again, this child, this is the aunt, correct? This is the sister from the mother, okay? So she's coming and she's saying, right? Me and you are brothers, which is true by the father. We're brothers from the father, correct? And me and your mother, me and your mother, these two are also sisters, right? Correct or not? Okay. And me and your father are also siblings, right? Why? Because even though this Goy is the father of these two daughters, he's also the sister, the half-sister from the mother, because he had relations with his mother, and then he had these two children. So these two children are also sister, his sisters. So this guy, right, is the brother, meaning the father of this boy, this Ben, the father is also the half brothers and sisters with the mother it's half brothers and sisters right and that's how you got this case next case oh each one it gets even more complicated yeah right the last one okay you're getting ready last one pay attention yeah last case right Anna Be'at Bene Ache me and you we are Bene Ache we are cousins Anna Be'avu me and your father, B'nei Ache, are also cousins. Ana Be'ima, B'nei Ache. Right? So, me and your mother are also B'nei Ache. How does this work? So, says the Gemara, Ha Be'i This is the only case where you can find even a Te'a. What does that mean? The previous case, we were talking about everything they sued. We're talking about the Goy. That's what we kept on talking about. They said that it was basically the Goy with his mother, the Goy with the daughter. The grandfather with the granddaughter. Uh, you understand? We were talking about uh, you know, a lot of incest over there. Okay, now this could even be found in a You have Ruven. 
היה שיש לו שתי בנות, יש שתי דור, רחל אליה. עתה שמעון הוא שמחה למנהל, שמעון, right, are brothers, it's a brother, so שמעון gets married to his niece, so he got married to רחל. ועתה בר לוי, right, the son of לוי, gets married to the other ones, that I means these are our cousins, first cousins. So Yachzel, the son of Levi, gets married to Leah, Shimon gets married to his niece, Rachel. Okay? The Kama lay b'rei de Shimon, so the son of Shimon, over here, Nachshon, he's, Levar b'rei de Levi, he's coming to the, saying to his grandson, to his cousin, right? Right? So he comes and he says all these things. The son of Shimon is saying to the grandson of Levi, me and you are b'nei achayot. We are first cousins. Because of the mothers. Rachel and Leah are sisters. So Nachshon is the son of Rachel. Chetzon is the son of Leah. So they're first cousins. Correct? Now he comes and he says, right, so too, right, your father, right, which is the son of Levi, Yachzel, and me, we are also, right, cousins from Shimon and Levi. Why? Because this is the son of Shimon. This is the son of Levi. So Nachshon and Yachzel are also first cousins. Meaning, he's first cousins to Chetron, but he's also first cousins with his father, Yachzel. Because remember, Levi had a son, Shimon had a son. So those are first cousins. Okay? So that's also. Not only that, Ani, me, and Ben Shimon, sorry, Ani, I am the son of Shimon, Vimecha, and your mother, which is the daughter of Reuven, right, Leah, right, also are first cousins. So I am first cousins with your father, and I'm first cousins with your mother. One more time, you'll then have two daughters. And I'm and with you, exactly. So I'm first cousin with you, I'm first cousin with your father, and I'm first cousin with your mother. And this could even be done, they had said. Everything was done with permission. Okay? Next, Mishnah. Okay? Says the Mishnah. Hagionet. Yash nidairu banea vima. There's a Mishnah. Hagiyoret shinit gairu banea imayim. Not sure right now you have a goya. She converts with her children after the children were born. Okay? So you have, this is the normal case. Goya, she converts with her children. Okay? So now what happens? Right? One of the boys went, they got married. And they died without children. Okay? So now who stayed left behind? Right? The Giyoret and the other son. They're not family. So since they're not family, there's no chalitza, no yibu. Remember, a gyor at the guya, when she converts, there's no family uh, thing. Even technically with Doraita, they didn't marry each other. Meaning, a gyor could come and get married to her son. She could get married, you understand? That means, you understand? That means, there's no family connection. We did a banana, it's a sumur, because we didn't want that it should look that when they're guyim, the, the mother and son, they're not allowed to get married to each other, or father and daughter are not allowed to get married to each other. And all of a sudden, when they convert, now all of a sudden they're, they're permitted to get married to each other. So we don't allow it. But we do write that they're not family. The second they convert, they are not family. So therefore, he mamash. No yichalitza, no nothing. Get married to each other. Yeah? Afilu orato shel arishon shelo bigdusha v'lelato bigdusha. Even if the first one was pregnancy was done when she was still a goya and then she converted, right? And then she gave birth. That's leidato bigdusha, which means that the leida, the birth was bigdusha. The second one was 100%. Everything was done kosher, which means after conversion, right? Still the same halacha, right? Also, no chalitza, no yibu. Why? Because also they don't have halacha, halachic status of brothers from the father, because since the, the pregnancy was done, he was still a boy, the father was still a boy, there's nothing there. There's no family members here, there's nothing. The same halacha would apply to a shifa. Shifcha is a maid servant that she was freed with her children. The same thing. She's not family with her own children. Okay? Very good. Says the Gimara, Bene Yudaram Tash Tachur, the children of Yudan, the Shifcha, Kenanit, were freed. Sharanu Ravacha Briyakov, the Mitz of the Shet Adani. So Ravacha Briyakov came and he went, he told them they're allowed to get married, right, to Esh Tachi. Right? Why? There's no Dina Rachi. That means even the, the brother's wife, which is a sister in law, which Mina Torah is food 100%. He's allowed to get married. Why is he allowed to get married? Because mamash, right? What? We said there's no family members here. Yeah? Yeah. He says, one second, I thought it was primitive. He said, he said it's primitive. But I'm saying it's primitive. 
¿En qué? Ya, yeah, los de Technically they are no brothers. No, me do right to the alma, me do right to the no brothers. Only question is, me do rabbanan, do you prohibit or not? So here he's saying, me do rabbanan, he wanted to prohibit, but he wanted to permit. Rabbi Akhaber Yaakov said he was going to be prohibited. Right of Shashat, we were prohibited, but Rabbi Akhaber Yaakov says, he prohibited, but I permit. Mina avelo mina en, kule alma lo pliegue de shari. If we're talking about brothers from the father and not from the mother, according to everybody, nobody argues that it's going to be permitted. Because everybody knows that that would be permitted in such a case is because they, there is no ahma from the father to do it again. And therefore, there's no even a prohibition that said, you know, midra bana. Mina em, but it's going to be from the mother, not from the father. Everyone agrees that it's going to be a sur midra bana. Right? Why? Because we don't, want to, as we already just mentioned, that we don't want to see people say, ah, you're allowed to get married to the brother. Right? Keep pliege to the brother's wife. Keep pliege. So when it's a machloke, mina avu mina from both of them together. Man the shadi, the one that permits, right? He holds what that Abba Shadin and they go after the father. They have been in Planya Karuru, because these are the children of this person, the father. Then Rav Sheshad, and according to Rav Sheshad, he says it's a sur. He says, Karuru nami bene plonit. No, we go to the mother. That means basically by a goy, we go after the father or the mother. So because there's a machloket, that's what's, that's what's coming up in the machloket for you. Okay? The Ika de Amma, and some people say, Pali Ravach Pali Akum, a pilu achidinahem, even from the father, from the brothers, from the mother. Umay Tama, what's reasoning? The second that a person converts, it's like a reborn. And that's why, if you remember, we also mentioned that also a person does not fulfill the mitzvah of procreation. Why? Because if he has child with a goyad and they convert, they're not his children. It's, a, it's like he was just born right now. So therefore, the person never fulfilled the mitzvah of Yav Yav Yav. So now we learned in our Mishnah, Agiyore she gayu ben Aima lo chotzin yirim. We learned in our Mishnah, Agiyore that she converts and her children converted with her. They don't do chalitzan ribu. My time, what's reasoning? La mishum be asirim. It's not because they're asirim they're banat, and not like Ravach Bar Yaakov that says that there's no isur. And so they're no. Ena be Torah chalitzan ribu. There's no Torah chalitzan ribu. The Asharia lealma never should permit to get married to anybody. The Yunami Shari they're also permitted to get married to anybody. Meaning there's no such thing as ribu me chalitzan yir. That's why not because there's isur they're banat. Okay, so says the Gemara. What is the Pilu? What is the Pilu? Then, he am a Bishmat. If you're going to tell me there are Surim, Hainu Diktani a Pilu. That's why they said a Pilu, right? What does that mean a Pilu? Right? That even they're not allowed to do such a thing. The Apuk of the the Dishon now the Tashav of the Dishav the Tavik the Shav Ashni the Tavik the Tavik the Shav. Right? Uchtei Mahodam. So it's like yeah, there's two different mothers because the first case was is that the mother became pregnant when she was still a Guya. Then she converted and she had the child and he was Jewish. Right when she was already Jewish. The second one, when she was 100% Jewish, she became pregnant and she conceived and also had the child. So therefore, right, it, that's why I understand. Elayim Asharu, we're going to say it's permitted. What does it mean a few then? So he said, Even though both of them were done with Dusha, the Atu Lehruf 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 Right, because since the first brother was for the it's not permitted. Meaning, since the first brother, he, he the the mother became pregnant, she was still a guya, so therefore it's not. Okay, Ika Dami, there are those that say, Hafinam Nistabla the Shadi. It's actually going to be logical to say that it's going to be permitted. Tiktani Afilu, he said Afilu. I am a Bishlamad the Shadu. If you're going to tell me now the Shadu that it was permitted, Hainu Tiktani Afilu. That's why we saw the Afilu. The Avakam to tell you that the Tami Dusha that is true. We say even though that that was Tami Dusha. That you could switch it with the Israel. Filu Achishad would still be permitted. Ileim and Atasir, maybe you're going to tell me now that it's prohibited. Maya Filu, what does it mean a Filu? Okay, fine. So says the answer to Gimana, the Apagab that is shown in the Tabi Shalom Dushab and the Tabi Shalom Dushab, the Shirin of the Tabi Shalom Dushab, the Shirin of the Tabi Filu Achishad. According to this, the Hidush was that even though the first one, the conceiving, right, when she became pregnant, it was done Shalom Dushab, that she wasn't pure. The second one was done when she was already uh, converted. The second child, everything was done when she was converted. It's considered like it was two different mothers. And still, what do we say? It's going to be a suit. It's like considered like two different mothers. That's why they're going to be. In that case, yes, because the second, well, the second was for sure, because at the end of the day, she gave birth. She gave birth to them when she was already converted. She converted when both of them were, were converted. Tashema, we're also going to bring another case. What happens if you have two twins, right? That they converted after the birth. Or two twins, right? That were free. They also don't do chalitzadibu. If they have relations with their sister-in-laws, there's no prohibition of eshetah. 
I doubt it. Hashem was with them. What happens if they were pregnant, meaning they were conceived when they were not Jewish, and then they give birth when they were Jewish? They still don't do chalitza vibu, but they are chayav mishum eshetah. I doubt it. Hashem was with If they were conv- everything was done when they were already converted, they are Israelim. We hold them in. They are hundred percent Jews. However, that we learned in chayav mishum eshetah. In the first case, we learned that there's no eshetah. There's no chiyu, but there's still a nisun. There's going to be a nisun, the rabbanan, but there's no chiyu. Meaning, these two twins, that one of them went and he cheated on the brother's wife. So he went and he, so therefore, technically speaking, it's the sister in law. But since, again, they were done, so therefore, it's not really a sister in law. So therefore, there's no, there's, again, there's nisun, the rabbanan, but there's no chiyu, meaning nobody's going to kill them, nobody's going to be able to do anything to them. Exactly, 100%.